As the month of December comes to a close with the festive season in Top Gear, the year 2023 has been reported in business circles as one of the most challenging financially and economically for many Kenyans. Our media team caught up with the Chief Executive Officer of Sumac Microfinance Bank, Mr. John Jihia, who openly shared his thoughts on the outlook of the year for Sumac Microfinance Bank. The macroeconomic environment uh, has been tough due to uh, what is happening around the world. Uh, in Kenya, the exchange rate, uh, the Kenya shilling has been uh, depreciating and uh, has, uh, that has affected uh, part of the business that has done uh, uh, for uh, USD and especially the facilities that are pegged uh, on the dollar. Uh, we have uh, cases where the geopolitical world has also affected uh, uh, the business because of the prices of uh, commodities uh, coming to Kenya. The import has been um, uh, expensive. So the, it has really affected our clients. Uh, but as a SUMAC, uh, we have stepped in and uh, we have um, tried to assist them. Uh, but uh, businesses has been tough uh, also on our client side. Uh, but we, uh, we hope uh, maybe going to the year 2024, uh, will be uh, m much easier year than uh, how the 2023 uh, was. The dynamics of funding for banks is often largely affected by foreign exchange rates since most Kenyan banks get their funding from other markets, then distribute it locally in the form of loans and other related products. With the volatile foreign exchange market, banking institutions have had to think of other dynamic ways to survive this instability, and the CEO didn't hold his reflections on the situation in regards to Forex and what Sumac Microfinance Bank is doing to mitigate these unfriendly factors. Uh, yes, uh, it has affected uh, Sumac uh, because some of the uh, facilities are paid in, uh, in dollars. Uh, though we have hedged some, uh, definitely the principal, uh, but the interest, you have to go to the market and uh, search for dollars. And you know dollars have been uh, scarce in this market and the rate have been going up. So we have uh, paid more than uh, we are anticipated and uh, that has really affected uh, the business uh, and, and especially the bottom line because uh, the loans have become more expensive uh, than we thought. The excavation of, uh, of the dollar, of course, uh, has also affected uh, imports. Most of our clients, uh, SMEs, uh, they do imports. Uh, they have become expensive. So that has also affected uh, uh, their business uh, because, you know, Kenyans are price sensitive. So if you import uh, more ex at an expensive price, you come and uh, increase your, your product prices it will affect the business and uh, that's what has happened. This scenario that Mr Nji here says has affected SMEs and businesses at large means they are also exposed to the risks of defaulting on their loans or having to pay more than had been anticipated. Most often, the non-performing loans have tended to rise and rise the more every day. The uh, credit up here has also gone up. Uh, because, uh, of course, uh, there has uh, some delays uh, from our clients uh, paying. Some have not been able even uh, to pay their full installments. So we'll find that uh, default rate has uh, gone up. That uh, has affected our, our business and, of course, uh, the business of uh, our clients uh, when they are not able to pay their full uh, installments every other month. But it is not all gloom and doom at the end of the day. The CEO is keen to deploy various strategies to mitigate some of these challenges that have occurred in 2023 by ensuring the New Year's agenda takes into account various reliable tools that will be used to run the bank more profitably and with greater exhibition of stability at all levels. The cost of funds, uh, funds have gone up, uh, but uh, going to the year 2024, we are talking to some of our uh, partners who will uh, come in and uh, can put in uh, some uh, uh, patient capital that uh, will help the business. Uh, of course, uh, we are also thinking of uh, being uh, more closer to our, our clients, uh, what we call a relationship building. Uh, we'll be more closer and uh, we are thinking of even opening uh, some satellite offices uh, to ensure that uh, we are closer to them 
and uh, we also understand uh, their business better if we are closer to, to our clients. That's what we are looking for in uh, coming uh, the year 2024. There are some uh, products that have been uh, developed uh, on the digital world. Uh, we want to serve our clients uh, digitally and uh, so that uh, they are served at the comfort of their coaches at home, wherever you are. And uh, we have submitted uh, some application to CBK for approval on the digital uh, side, uh, such that uh, uh, they can use a uh, USSD, you can use a uh, mini app, they can pay their bills using uh, uh, their phones, they can borrow, and uh, they can also save. So all uh, those products that uh, uh, we are looking at. Uh, in fact, uh, we won an award uh, recently uh, from a CII, uh, CIO 100, uh, yes, uh, because of uh, uh, the innovations in uh, the digital technology. We are looking at the uh, agency banking uh, going uh, digital. Uh, we are also looking at the uh, loan origination, uh, such that uh, when our loan officers uh, go to the field, they will just go with the tablets, they will feed the information, the information is reflected at uh, uh, the head office, and uh, the, the, the scoring can be done, uh, there's a scoring engine, yeah, and uh, we can give our feedback uh, to the client very fast, so the turnaround time uh, will be shortened. And as 2023 comes to an end, the CEO was effusive about the contribution from the Sumac clients across the country. He had great words of appreciation for this important cross-section of stakeholders. First, I would, I would like to thank them uh, for being our clients, uh, supporting us and us supporting them. Uh, we don't uh, take their business for granted. So we are very happy and uh, we feel honoured uh, for their, their business. I also want to thank uh, our, client, our staff who serve our clients, uh, they've been uh, very dedicated. Uh, the, I would like to thank uh, the Board of Governors uh, that have uh, uh, guided the business and all our partners, uh, business partners, I would like uh, to thank them because of the relationship that uh, we have had uh, with them uh, in this business. So I thank uh, all our stakeholders, uh, even our regulators, uh, they have been good to us, uh, so uh, I thank all of them and I wish them uh, a very Merry Christmas, uh, end of uh, or start of uh, next week and uh, very prosperous uh, the year 2024.